Good day class. Today you are going to learn about 3D solids and this falls under the topic of geometry in our mathematics syllabus. So what is a 3D shape? A 3D shape has three dimensions. For example, the length, the height and the depth. Now depth is also called width or how wide the shape is or it is also called the breadth meaning how broad the shape also is all 3d shapes are solids now you have learned about three two-dimensional shapes before and these are flat shapes that can be drawn on paper and they only have two dimensions which are the length and the width and some of these shapes are like squares circles triangles that you have done in your lower classes they are sometimes called plane shapes. Your focus today is on three-dimensional shapes or 3D solids as we call it. So the first one is called a cube. So I need you to look carefully at the solid, look at the, the properties of it, what shapes you can see within it, and remember what it looks like, a cube. Now what type of item can you find look, that looks like this in your home? Maybe a watch box or a cardboard box or you play snake and ladder and you use a dice, those, those um, dice that you use to roll, right? That those, ha those have the shape of a cube, a cuboid. So the next 3D solid is called a cuboid. I want you to look carefully at this solid and where can you find this solid in your home? Again, it looks like a box or a bar of soap or a cornflakes box or perfume box. So look around your home and write down some of the things you could see that has this shape. Let's go to the next solid. This is called a cone. So look at it carefully. Look around your home and see if you have anything that resembles this cone. Maybe you have an ice cream cone or a waffle cone or a happy birthday hat. So this is called a cone. The next solid is called a cylinder. So look at it carefully, try to remember the name, what it looks like, and take a look around your home to see what items that takes this shape. Some of the items you can find are a barrel, a cup, a glass, a roll of toilet paper, a roll of foil, and many others. Let's go to the next shape, the next solid, sorry. This is called a triangular prism. So take a close look at this solid here, and where can you find this in your home? Well, it's right above your roof. Your roof has the shape of a triangular prism. Also, you may have boxes that take this shape, for example, chocolate boxes. Okay, let's go to the next solid. This next solid is called a sphere. Alright, it looks like a ball. And look around your home, where can you find items that resemble this solid? Well, I just called one. It looks like a ball. The next solid is called a square base pyramid. Why do we call it a square base pyramid? That's because the bottom of 
this solid is a square and it's called a pyramid because all the sides meet at the top at a point so that is why it's called a pyramid so this is called a square base pyramid do you have anything that looks like this at home maybe so you can tell me you can look around and tell me during our zoom class And then this is the last one for today. This is called a triangular base pyramid. Just like the square base pyramid, all the sides meet at the top. But this one, the bottom of this pyramid is not a square. It is a triangle. Okay, so take a look around your home and see if you have any items that has this shape. Maybe you can tell me of it during our Zoom class. So can you name these solids here? Maybe you can write them down and we will discuss this in our Zoom class at 10 a.m. So I hope you all learn and can remember the names of all these solids. Now go to page 349 in your textbooks and answer numbers 1 to 12. You have to write the correct names of the solids and shapes shown in the textbook and this will be corrected on Zoom at 10 a.m. Bye.